Adding content using a site builder could not be any easier. First, you have a style tab and you have a content tab. The style tab is to update and adjust the styling of the elements or the content blocks of your page. However, when you want to add content, everything that you need is under the content tab. And everything under the content tab is drag and drop. So what you can do is you simply drag and drop the object to a part of your layout. And you can automatically start updating content on the spot. Now, as far as the type of content, they're classified into a few different categories. Containers, these are objects that allow you to drop other elements within them. They're basically containers. So you can actually drag and drop a container to an area of your page, and this will allow you to separate content from the left to the right. So for example, if you wanted to drop content to the left, such as an image, and content to the right, you would use the containers to form and create columns of content within your page. So let's go ahead and do that. I would like to go ahead and add an image to the left column and some content to the right of it. So I'm going to go ahead and actually drag this block down underneath the title that I had created. So now I have an empty block, a left and a right. So I will go to my content block. I will go to the images and media and I will drag an image to the left column. And now I have the option to select from files in my library. We have a free library and also my files which I can actually select from or I can even go and upload my own file if I decided to. So let's say I would like to go ahead and use a file as a preset from the library. So I will click this random object and if you notice it's very large I can easily go in and size this image down to a more reasonable size. There we go. Perhaps I would like to do some advanced image editing. I can actually go to the image editor and literally do Photoshop effects right within this image editor. You should experiment with it. There are a number of different options and filters that you can choose to modify and customize your image. So we'll go ahead and apply that. So there we go. I've got an image on the left and now I can go and click on the container and I can shift it to the left now I have a larger space for my content. I go to my content block. I go to my text blocks and I basically simply drag and drop a paragraph of content. And then you can decide or you can even copy paste more content and text in this box. Apply it and there I have my content. So you have numerous different options of content types. Containers we talked about, text blocks, images and media, anything from images, flash, even video from YouTube, Vimeo and others, uh, audio, and not to last and not least is the widgets. And we have, this is where the power of the side builder comes in. There are a number of different types of widgets here anything from calendars, banners, carousels, ability to embed uh, HTML code from third-party sources, Twitter, uh, Facebook, all types of different uh, social media and the special add-ons that only come with the site builder plans and even e-commerce such as the ability to add PayPal buttons and Google checkout. So with the site builder and the content types that are available you can pretty much create rich complete web presence for your business, your personal need, or even for your organization.
go ahead and give it a try.